Hi friends, welcome back to Circle Times with Ashley again. Have a seat and let's get started. Hello to everyone and how are you today? We come to our circle time to laugh and sing and play. And when we're up, we're up. And when we're down, we're down. And when we're only halfway up, we're neither up nor down. So roll those hands so slowly. Roll them out so fast. Give your hands a clap, 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 and fold them in your lap, tap, tap. All right, stand up. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, my friends, what is today? Did you say Friday? That's right, today is Friday. And if today is Friday, what day was yesterday? Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. That means that tomorrow will be Saturday. Good job, friends. All right, let's count to see what our special number is today. Ready? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now, we talked about our pattern yesterday. Let's go over it again. Are you ready? Yellow, yellow, purple, purple, pink, pink. And then we're going to repeat it. So we have yellow, yellow. Good. Let's look. It's the eighth day of. May, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. One more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Very good. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Good job. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Sit down. All right, my friends, come have a seat with me. So we had a new letter this week. The letter L. Show it to me. And L says, oh. We had a new number, number 11, just two ones right next to each other. Add a new sight word, the sight word for F-O-R, good. And we got to practice our colors. We've had a busy week. So now we're gonna hear a story from the Bible. Remember, all the stories from the Bible really happened. Today is the story of Jonah. There he is. There's Jonah. Such a beautiful day for fishing, thought Jonah. Suddenly, he heard the voice of God. Jonah, go to Nineveh. Oh, I don't like that city, said Jonah. I won't go. Is Jonah listening to God? He's not listening to God. You're right. So Jonah ran away. He boarded a ship sailing away from Nineveh. That ought to do it, he thought. But a storm rocked the boat. Waves crashed. Help! cried the sailors. Jonah knew God sent the storm for him. Oh no. Jonah was tossed overboard down 
down, down. Jonas sank to the bottom of the sea. This is it, thought Jonah. I can't swim. But when he opened his eyes, Jonah was staring into the mouth of the very biggest fish he had ever seen. That uh, looks like a big fish to me. With one gulp, that fish swallowed Jonah. Do you see Jonah inside the fish? Oh no. For three days, Jonah waited inside the dark and smelly fish. Why did I try to run away from God? He thought. Finally, Jonah cried out, Dear God, I'm sorry. I'll do whatever you want. Poof. With a mighty breath, that very big fish spit Jonah up, up, up and out. Jonah landed with a thud on the shores of Nineveh. After he finished the job Jonah had for him to, to do in Nineveh, Jonah went back to fishing. But every time he felt a huge tug on his fishing pole, he always let it go, just in case. So, did Jonah listen to God the first time? No, he didn't. Sometimes it's hard to listen the first time, isn't it? But what did Jonah do? He said sorry. He apologized for not listening, for not obeying. And that's so important, friends, that when we don't listen and we don't obey, to say sorry and to see that we made a bad choice. And did you know that when you ask God to forgive you, he does. All you have to do is ask.